well hello good morning saturday the 10th of february 2018 eight years ago i joined four square which is now four square and swarm uh 25 to 7 in the morning greenwich mean time this week I don't want to say it's been a strange all week. It's been a strange all week. The week of MP3 players. Two new U6s. Two new U6s won't hold a charge. Two new U6s going back. Currently got a U2 from way in the past and a backup U5. Lots of U's. Anyway, the bus is coming that way. Hopefully. It will have a contactless card reader. If it doesn't, well, they're not keen on change, but I don't care. Uh, and it will be going uh, that way. It's chilly this morning. <laughs> Bitingly chilly, but not frosty, so who knows what the temperature is. Just above zero, I would say. Anyway. Or you can drink coffee to start in the Queen's Hotel. There's a little bit of drizzle. However, the big question of course, will there be a bacon roll? I'm saying no at the moment, but I feel strange. Okay, let's go in. Well, we've gone from drizzle to light rain. And it's not quite as cold. Mind you, it shouldn't be. It's light. No ales worth drinking in the Queen's, Uncle John Wallace Lipton. Ooh, uh, you two. Has trouble waking back up again when it reloads the operating system. I need a pin. Anyway, this is Century and Hadrian Brewery, Hadrian Wall Brewery, Hadrian something brewery. Hadrian Brewery Company, maybe. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Carpet for Mr. Matney. Mm, hoppy aroma. Mm, lemony. Fruity. Nice bit of finish. A little bit sweet and malty as well. I'm thinking B plus. Yep, that'll do. Well, they had some stuff from Bull Mastiff. Copyright Hot Bunker. Um, but they hadn't sat for long enough. It was still, and I don't think it was a hazy beer because it kind of looked like yeast all over the place. So, um, Green Dreville by Oak Males at 6% alcohol by volume. Lovely bottle. Probably a little cold at the moment. Oh, yes, it is. Nicely hot aroma. Mm. I don't know. I have to say that has seen better days. But again, a lot of malt, sweet malt, nice bit of finish. B plus in a bit. Your basic still, can't even say it. Your basic still raining situation. Great. Pen and break. A white one. So we're on. And the Baylor and Morgan Brewery fog. This is conversion. Probably due to the rugby. Very very pale. Four percent alcohol by volume. I'm not even sure if I've had it before. Mr. Manning is watching real wooden flooring and people with umbrellas, it's still raining. You might have just seen that. The guy who used to own this place is in. He's no longer in the beer industry. It's a shame because it was good under his leadership. And it was pink. Um. Rather thin, strong bit of finish. I'm not altogether sure. 
B plus. Huge bit to finish actually. It's still raining. Hello, I'm now full of chips. Let's go. <coughs> this is cold. Let's look after this video. Thank you. Siren Prime, if I can do the same, I'll call my boat on the air. Inspired IPA, very fast class. It's pretty still on. Oh, I think this is off my head. Oh, I can't see it. Music, take that, probably. Thank you. Lots of music, lots of take down, no doubt. This is rather new. Be a money ink. 6% alcohol by volume by those tiny rebel brothers. I'll be a cookie. Mm. Quite sharp. Pretty bitter. It's almost like a really, really nice DIPA. Very fruity, better finish. B plus in a bit. It's all gone down. And the music is turned off. So I might get away with the take that back. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, it's the rugby. I want the Italy. Wales is on later on tonight. This is England. This is. Well, it is. It's probably a Twilight City grid. Left handed giant. 4.9% alcohol by. I'm not sure, but I think they're the people behind the small bar. It's proven. And we love the small bar, apart from the vinegar dishes. Hang on, I haven't tried it yet. It smells like a double IPA, but not a 4.9%. Yeah. It is sitting up really well for them. It tastes like a double IPA. It's very fruity, very sharp. And it's a B plus plus. 